From close calls to disappearing towns, all the way to peoples whose lives have somehow been altered in small but very noticeable ways. Here is part three of the top 10 dark parallel universe stories that defy science. Starting off at our number 10 spot, we have The Close Call. This story comes from a guy who loves cars, but had a weird moment about 15 years ago that he just couldn't get off of his mind. When he was in his early 20s, he loved to speed in cars and just wanted to go fast. His friend had a car that he really wanted to drive, and one day it just turned out to be his lucky day and his friend finally gave in. He hopped in the driver's seat with his friend who owned the car in the passenger seat and another buddy in the back and off they went. They went to an empty freeway around 3 a.m. and put the pedal to the metal. Once they hit around 135 miles per hour, they began to see a bunch of semi-trucks. There were three basically driving side by side, taking up all three of the lanes and certainly not going as fast as our speed demon friend. He thought to himself that there was an on-ramp coming up and he would just use that as some extra room to pass, but unfortunately as he approached the on-ramp, another semi was entering the freeway and occupying that fourth lane. With all four semis lined up, he was approaching too fast with no time to break, so he closed his eyes and prepared for the worst. But then, nothing happened. He opened his eyes and the other guys in the car were just as confused as he was. Somehow they were now in front of all of the semis, but there was literally no room for them to have passed by them. This was the end of his speeding career as he was super spooked as to what possibly just happened. Was this a real world glitch or did he somehow enter a reality where he wasn't in an extremely dangerous and potentially fatal situation? In our number 9 spot today we have The Strange Storm. This story goes that a couple were at home just doing some household chores when something super strange happened to them. The husband went to open the front door to toss a dirty rug out of the house and it was just completely pitch black outside. The weird part is that it was at 2 p.m. and from inside the house it looked like a regular sunny afternoon with light coming in from the windows. They said that suddenly outside the front door where it was dark, it's like the sun was a light bulb and it just went on, then off again, and then on. They described it like the flickering a light bulb does right before it's burnt out. The wife asked her husband if he had seen that and he replied, yes, what just happened? They also said there weren't any clouds out either, so it couldn't have been a cloud blocking the sun. Were they transported to some alternate reality for a second? I honestly have no explanation for what the pair witnessed. In our number 8 spot today we have The Disappearing Town. This story comes from a person who often commutes to a town around 3 hours away from the one that they live in. One day they were doing the 3 hour drive with their mom and they got to the part that takes about a third of the entire drive and it's an area that just has a lot of like mountains and cliffs and nature. So the person telling the story is in the passenger seat and their mom is driving and as they look out the side of the window over one of the cliffs, they see a small community that they had never seen before. The community looked nice and it consisted of mostly bungalows, which is apparently not normal for the area. Both them and their mom were super confused as to how they had never seen this community before, but it gets even weirder. They never saw the community again. It just disappeared as quickly as it appeared. Did they accidentally drive into another dimension one day? In our number 7 spot today, we have slightly different. One morning in 2008, a woman named Lorena woke up in a life that was similar to the one she was living in when she went to sleep, but certainly not the same. At first, it was just things like her bed sheets and pajamas, but when she got to work, things began to escalate. Lorena realized that her office wasn't her office and that she worked in the same building but in a completely different apartment. She had never even met her boss before, so she knew this couldn't have just been a moment where she got lost or confused. When she returned home after the workday, she was met by her ex-boyfriend, only to find out that he was apparently her current boyfriend. She tried to find the person that she had been dating for months, but he didn't seem to exist in this new life and world that she now found herself in. Lorena began to seek psychiatric help because she was fearing she was having some sort of nervous breakdown, but all the tests revealed that she seemed to be of sound body and mind. The strange occurrences continued when Lorena asked her family how her sister was doing. Lorena knew that her sister had recently had shoulder surgery and she wanted to check in, but when she asked her family, they were baffled by her claims and insisted that there was no surgery that had taken place on anyone in the family. Lorena couldn't find any answers to her situation and was having no luck with a medical explanation either. She is convinced that she went to sleep one night and woke up in a parallel universe that was altered slightly by small decisions that she had made. 
Honestly, after all of these stories, I think I kind of might leave her too. In our number six spot today, we have moving. So this story comes from Reddit and it starts off one day when a guy gets a call from his neighbors asking him if he can help them move a mattress upstairs. They had a good relationship with the neighbors, so of course he was willing to help. When he got there, they got the mattress all moved and the neighbors asked if he wouldn't mind helping with an armoire as well. No problem, he thought as he began to help them move that one up the stairs as well. This is when things went awry, however. There were 11 stairs at the front, he was on the lower end carrying the armor, and about 6 steps up his friend at the top lost a handle on it and the whole thing came crashing down on him since he was of course at the bottom. He loses his balance and falls backwards towards the pavement and this man actually remembers dying from this fall. The next thing he remembers though is waking up in his dining room with his phone ringing and his wife asking him if he's going to answer the phone. He is obviously super freaked out because he literally just remembers dying two seconds ago but now he's here. When he answers the phone, it's his neighbor asking if he can help move a mattress up the stairs. He surprisingly goes over again to help and when he gets there he says he can help with the mattress but not with the armor. This neighbor is shocked because he doesn't know how he could have possibly known about the armor. Did the guy have some sort of premonition or did his death in one reality bring him into a different one? Who knows, but I hope he's taking advantage of this second lease on life. In our number 5 spot today we have The Breath. This reddit post comes from the user cat22l and they wrote quote, About 30 seconds ago I was sitting on the couch as my dog walked by to go sit on her bed we have behind the L part of the sectional. She had something small caught in her throat last night, I think a popcorn shell, so I was paying attention to her breathing just to make sure she got it out. For a few minutes she was breathing fine and then what sounded like a light snore started happening. This is semi normal for her depending on what position she's laying in so I didn't bother to go over and check on her. That went on for about 5 minutes until the most disgusting and to my now realization terrifying snore slash cough slash wheezing sound started happening. I go over to her to make sure she's okay and the exact moment I looked at her bed the sound stopped mid breath and she wasn't there. She was outside with my parents and had been for around 30 minutes. There's no way to get out of the room without walking right past me. I don't know whose dog I saw and what was making that creepy ass sound 5 feet away from me, but I'm going to be staying outside for the rest of the day and hiring an exorcist. Maybe this is a weird parallel universe story or maybe this is just a full on demon. What do you guys think? In our number 4 spot today we have the road trip. One day in 2006 a woman named Carol was driving through San Bernardino, California on her way to Paris, California where she was going to stay for a few days. On her travels she saw a sign for Riverside which was nearby and she decided that since her family had roots there maybe it was time to stop in for a visit. As she went into Riverside she realized that everything looked different from how she remembered it and she was unable to find her old house that she grew up in. She tried to go to the street that her grandmother used to live on, but that one was different too. And when she tried to visit her grandparents' graves at the cemetery, the whole place didn't even exist. Even the people who were living in the town gave Carol a bad feeling, and she didn't even want to get out of her car. She decided she would be better off just continuing on her trip, and she left Riverside. Carol didn't return to Riverside until a few years later after her dad had passed away and she was attending the funeral. To Carol's surprise, when she went to Riverside this time, everything was as she remembered it from her childhood. Childhood. Carol believes that somehow that day she ended up in some sort of a parallel universe form of Riverside and she even said that she felt like if she left her car that day she was going to get stuck there. In our number 3 spot today we have the new location. So one day this person was driving to work on the same route that they took every single day. They worked the whole day through and got into their car to head back home on the same path. As they're driving they start feeling super super anxious and like on the verge of a panic attack. They keep driving and then they suddenly see this huge power plant all lit up. They're super confused because they drive this road every single day, how could they miss this glaringly obvious thing? Then their boyfriend calls and asks them to pick up McDonald's on the way home. No problem, they go through the drive through When they get to the window, they see an employee they've never seen before even though they are at this same McDonald's almost every single day and this new employee is the only one there and they say that they've been working there for around 2 months. 
They take the food and head home and when they get there, they begin to tell the boyfriend about this strange power plant that they saw. Their boyfriend explains that it's always been there so he doesn't know what they're talking about. Now every day they drive past this power plant with no idea how it got there or how they had missed it, but they've also noticed a few other small differences in their life. Their dog doesn't know the tricks it used to know or how their boyfriend pronounces some words differently from before. Maybe they slipped into a new dimension on their drive home from work that day. In our number two spot today we have Honey. This story starts off with a woman who we'll call Anna, having her bi-weekly phone call with her mom just to catch up and see what's going on. Anna's mom unfortunately had to inform her that Anna's sister's dog named Honey had passed away. Anna was obviously super upset at this loss and called her sister to check in after hearing the news. Anna asked tons of questions about where they were planning to bury her, as well as asking how her sister's son was doing with the loss. Anna told her boyfriend how upset she was about the loss of the dog, as they had really had a bond. Flash forward a couple of months and Anna is heading home for Thanksgiving. Her sister was heading out of town to spend the holiday with her in-laws, so she left her pets at the parents' house so that they could be watched over. As Anna walks into her parents' home, she sees Honey, healthy as can be, sitting in the living room. Anna was of course overjoyed, but asked her mom why she had told her that Honey died. Anna's mom was very confused and said that that conversation never happened. After leaving her parents, Anna asked her boyfriend and he said he was super glad that she brought it up because he also remembered this conversation. Did they somehow enter a world where Honey was still alive? While this would be such an amazing surprise, it would also be unbelievably creepy. In our number one spot today, we have The Crosswalk. Okay, maybe a parallel universe story, maybe a glitch in the matrix story, either way, when I came across this one on Reddit, it actually gave me goosebumps because it was just so strange. So let me set the stage for you. The original poster of this story for a few weeks prior to this incident had been noticing this sort of mundane thing that he found that many people did. The thing was how pedestrians will wait at a crosswalk until the walk sign comes on and when it does, he was finding that people will usually pull their cell phones out of their pocket and look at them as they walk across the street. Nothing too strange there, it was just a thing that he had noticed. So flash forward to this specific incident, this guy is driving with his daughter. He goes on to write, quote, We stopped at a red light at a crossing and there was a man standing there. Nothing out of the ordinary, denim jacket, black cap, glasses, around six foot two. I thought I'd try to weird out my young daughter. She's five, so I knew this was going to blow her damn mind. So I said, see that man? When the walking man goes green and he starts to walk across, he'll reach into his pocket and pull out his phone and start looking at it. Watch and see. As he walks across, he reaches into his pocket, but then immediately takes his hand out and looks and points right at me with his mouth open smiling like a gotcha stance. Of course, my daughter found this absolutely hilarious, and I sat there completely mind blown. I must have sat there in silence looking at him walk across for the next 10 seconds. I drove on and had a look at him as I drove past and he was smirking and laughing. Of course, of course, I'm thinking that he must have heard this guy somehow, but the poster goes on to say that the windows were up, the radio was on, his voice was at a completely normal volume, and this crosswalk guy would have been like 15 to 20 feet away. He finishes the post by saying, quote, I can't figure out at all how he could have heard me. It's literally impossible. How did he know I was trying to predict he'd reach into his pocket for his phone? The only even remote possibility I can think of is that he has had the same observation as me and thought I might be thinking the same thing, so he just went for it. But realistically, what are even the chances of this? This story truly is just an incredibly weird one. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye.